Hello everyone, I am Professor Vaibhav Shah. Welcome to yet another lecture on engineering curves. In today's lecture, we are going to learn how to draw an involute of a line. It is a very special case of involute. Practically, there are many types of involutes possible like involute of a circle, involute of a square, involute of a pentagon, involute of a hexagon and so on. In subsequent lectures, we'll be learning each of these types one by one. If you like my content and teaching style, then do not forget to like and subscribe to show your love and support. And try to share it with your friends, which might help them to clarify their concepts. Now, let us start with one of the problems based on involute of a line. Problem one, draw an involute of a 10 mm long line for five turns. So here we have given with one line and we have to draw the involute of this line. Now here the line length is 10 mm, which is a very small uh, fraction of a length. Now we have to draw the involute for five turns. So let us understand what do you mean by turn. So now number of turns means you can say number of convolutions, number of rotations or number, number of revolutions. So here the number of rotations, number of turns or you can say number of revolutions are five. Means that your curve is rotating for total of five turns. Now, what do you mean by a turn? So let us take example from this figure. So if we try to draw a semicircle, that means it is called as a half turn. So as you can see, if I draw one semicircle, then it is known as your half turn or half convolution or half rotation. Now, if we try to draw one complete circle of 360 degree, then it is known as one complete turn or convolution or rotation or you can say revolution. So here we are talking about 360 degree times five. So now here the line length is given as line one to equal to 10 mm. So what we'll do is we'll first take one as a center and draw a half circle or semicircle and now we'll take two as a center and we'll draw another half circle. So this is half circle of 180 degree. This is another half circle of 180 degree. And after completion of these two circles, we can finish or complete one turn. So likewise, we'll repeat this procedure for five times to get our involute of a line for five turns. Okay, very easy. So let us start. So let us come to the figure on the right hand side. So here you can see this is one and this is two. So this is nothing but your line. So this is a small line, one, two. So now first of all, let us take one as a center. Now one as a center, one till two as a radius, one, two radius, draw one semicircle like this. So this one as a center, this two as a radius, draw one semicircle like this. This will give you 180 degree rotation. That means a half turn. After that, now, take two as a center and this one as a radius, two one radius, take two as a center, two one radius, draw one another half circle. So this will complete your 360 degree. That means your one turn. So here we are completing one turn. Now, once again, we'll change the center to this one. So this one, so this is our center one. And now this will be our end point. So from one till this end point, select on your rounder and try to draw another arc. And if you try to draw another arc, it will end somewhere like here. So now this will give you another 180 degree, means half turn. Now change the center to this point two. Take the radius equal to two, two on your rounder and two as a center. Draw one another turn. This turn will end somewhere on this horizontal line here. So now we have traveled through one more 80 degree. That means we have completed total of two turns. Now let us change the center to now center one. So now put your rounder at center one, take radius is equal to one till your point this. Now after getting the radius set on your rounder, draw one another semicircle like this and it will end at point number three. 
and this third point would denote a completion of the 180 degree means half turn once again. Now we'll be changing the center to center two. So now put your round at this center two, take radius equal to two till three. So your now radius is two, three. Now after getting this radius, draw one another semicircle. This is your another semicircle and it will try to end here. So now we have completed our third turn here. Now change the center to your center one. So I will change the center to center one. Now one as a center, one till this third curve as a radius, draw one another curve, which will end somewhere like here. So at point number four. So now this curve has now turned through 180 degree. Now change the center. Now we'll take two as a center, two and four as a radius, draw one another curve like this. And this curve would end somewhere here. So now we have completed total of 360 degree. So now we have completed total of four turns. Now, after that, what we'll do is, we'll now change the center once again. So let us put round at point one, take radius is equal to one till this end point and try to draw one another circle like this. This will end somewhere like here and at point number five. So this you have traveled through 180 degree. Now change the center to a center two. So this is my center two. Take radius is equal to two till five. So now your radius is two, five. Now after that you have to draw the circle from center as a two and radius is equal to two, five. You will be drawing this circle and this circle would end somewhere here. So we have completed a uh, 360 degree and we have completed our fifth turn also. So this spiral shape curve is nothing but your involute. And you have specified number of turns one, two, three, four, and five. So this five denotes that the lower half of this curve is your fifth number turn. So if your turn ends in the lower half, you will write this one, two, three, four, five in the lower half. If your turns end in upper half, you will be writing one, two, three, four, five in upper half. So our fifth turn will end. This is our lower half of the turn and this is our fifth turn. So fifth turn would end just below your horizontal line. That means we are writing this five just below your horizontal line. So now after completing this, we will denote this length of this line or this first radius as 10 mm because we have taken 10 mm radius one as a center we have drawn that radius after that the second radius would be 20 third radius would be 30 fourth radius would be 40 fifth radius would be 50 then here 60 70 80 90 and 100 so first radius we have drawn is this is 10 and up till this point now after that your radius increases to 20 so this is 20 radius after your increases radius to 30 because our center is one and this is the radius. So now your radius is 30. Now here the radius changes to 40. So this is a 40 up till this horizontal line. From horizontal line, your radius would be 50. Now after this horizontal line, your radius would be 60. So this is 60. Now after this horizontal line, your radius would be 70. Here up till your horizontal line. Now after horizontal line, your radius would be 80. Now here, after this horizontal line would be your radius 90. And finally, for lower half of this horizontal line, your final radius would be your 100 mm. So this curve is nothing but your involute of a line. So it looks very complex, but it is not. You have to just simply follow the procedure. First time you will select one as a center and second time you will be selecting two as a center. But remember, you will be selecting this one all the time as a center and these two all the time as a center. You will not be selecting any other points as center. So remember, first time you will use this one as a center, then these two as a center, then once again, this one as a center, then these two as a center. And likewise, you will follow the curve and you will simply finish your curve. This is all from my side. If you have any doubts, then you can comment below. And if you have enjoyed my lecture, then do not forget to like and subscribe to show your love and support. Keep learning, stay connected. Bye-bye.